In this video, we are discussing Spark word count example. In case of word count, we are having one text file and the text file is containing multiple different texts. And we are supposed to count that how many times one word has occurred in the respective text file. So let us go for some further discussion on it and we shall also give you a practical demonstration on this problem. How to implement word count problem in Spark? Using the Java MapReduce program, we have already seen that how to count the frequency of words in one or more than one text files. So for this example, we are going to count words on the same file which is selected in our MapReduce program and which is used in MapReduce example earlier. So the file is stored onto the HDFS and now at first we should start our Hadoop before accessing this HDFS files. So let us go for one practical demonstration to show you that how this WordCon problem can be written and can be executed. My Hadoop system is on, so it is running. So now here you can find that here we are having the Hadoop root, that is the HDFS root. Now under this we are having one folder that is the Hadoop My Files. So there is a Hadoop My Files. Under this folder we are having one file that is a sample underscore file dot txt. So let me show you what is the content of the file. So we shall go for Control Alt T. We shall open one terminal, and now we shall go for HDFS DFS minus CAT slash Hadoop My Files. We shall go for cat Hadoop My Files, and the file name is sample file dot txt. So the file name is sample file dot txt. So I'm going to see the content of the file. The file content is this one. So this is the content. Now we shall open our Spark shell and in the Spark shell, we shall execute a program. That means not a program, but the state of state pens will be writing. Some lines will be writing here one by one to perform the word count problem on this sample underscore file dot txt. So that is the purpose and that is the demonstration we are going to give you right now. So let, let me go for the initiation of the Spark shell. So to initialize the Spark shell, we shall go for Spark shell. If we initialize the Spark shell, then the Scala prompt will be coming. So at first we shall create one file which will read all this sample underscore file dot txt content. So let me open that file. So let the Scala prompt come. The Scala prompt has come. So I shall go for bar sample file is equal to sc sc stands for spark context so text file and then we shall give the path should be enclosed within double quotes so hdfs then colon slash slash localhost colon 9000 so 9000 is the port number and the folder is hadoop my files hadoop my files and the file name is sample sample file dot txt so this is the total uh, path with the file name okay it opens the text file stored in the hdfs so now to see the content of the text file as an array so we shall go for sample sample file dot collect we shall go for sample file dot collect so to see the content of the text file as an array. So you can find that the content is getting shown. You see the content is coming in the form of an array. You can find this one in the form of an array. Now we shall we shall split this particular content. So to split all the words which will be separated by the blank spaces. OK, so what we shall, we shall go for this bar and then W count. I can give other name also. No issues. So then sample file dot flat map. So M capital, not F, flat map. And then line. So line dot split. And here the delimiter will be a space. So I'm enclosing this space within double quotes and now closing it. OK, to see the contents inside W count, so all words will be separated in the array. So we shall go for w count dot collect. You see, 
in the array all the words have got separated you can find the output here I've just marked it you can find the output okay now to see the contents inside the uh, w count we issued the command that is the w count dot collect here so now we shall put one after each word in the w count rdd so how to do this one so we shall go for say var uh, map output I'm just writing this one as map op map map output w count w count dot map and then w and here each and every word will have one after it I'm pressing enter to see the output what is the value we'll be getting a key value PR type of thing so let me show you that one also so map output dot collect so it will show show us the key value pair type of thing you see it is a key value pair so key is here this and value is one so for each and every word we have attached we have treated that word as a key and the value is one here okay now what we shall do we shall call the reduce by key method we shall call the reduce by key method so now let me go for and uh, that one so val reduce o output I shall make this one as say reduce op then map op dot reduce by key so by key reduce by key and here we shall go for underscore plus underscore now what is the final output we have called the reducer also so what is the final output so initially we have the we had the map output now we are having this uh, reduce output so to get this one I shall go for reduce output dot collect you can find that it is coming like this you see it is coming like this so here each and every key is there when the key is unique uh, not having the uh, occurrences again so it is having the frequency one count is one but when this particular key has got repeated for multiple times so, so respective counts are coming so in this way you are you are getting this so now let me uh, let me save this output onto some uh, file in the SDFS so how to do that one so reduce reduce output dot save as text file so there is a method is this one so we are going for and passing this parameter what is the parameter that is the path so SDFS say I'm make, making this one as slash slash local host colon 9000 we wrote this one earlier also so now let me decide some path uh, some directories which will be created so let it be spark output slash WC spark before going for that let me show you that there is no folder called spark output okay so there is no folder called spark output or uh, under that folder obviously the WC spark folder will be created but there is no folder called spark output so what we can do so now if I if I execute this one so there is a reduce op dot save as text file so we are giving this total path with the file name so we are giving the path actually here the file will get created automatically and that should be enclosed within double quotes so just in putting enter so now let me show you that the corresponding spark output has got created under this we are having this WC spark and under this we are having this underscore success and part hyphen five zero so this is the file which is containing actually the output so let me show you the output also so how to show so I shall go for the terminal once again okay so this is the terminal I'm having so I'm going for let me come out from this so I shall go for exit so coming out so I've got the dollar prompt back again clear so let me see so I shall go for say SDFS DFS minus cat to see the content here so minus cat slash so spark output so there is a first folder under which we are having the next folder is our there is a WC spark you can find here so WC spark and then we are having this part 
hyphen one two three four five zeros so that is the content we are going to get so this is the content you can find that this is the content so the content has been written onto this part hyphen uh, five zeros so here the content has got written so instead of writing this full instead of writing this full also you can put the uh, what should I say the respective wildcard characters we can put so that will also work for us so that will also produce the same output so in this demonstration we have given you the idea that what are the different steps should be followed to execute the word count problem onto a text file in our spark shell thanks for watching this video